Hello, my name is Lucy Klink. I'm a fine arts faculty here at Temple University. And uh, tonight and subsequent days, I'm showing some uh, black and white photographs. These are an older series. They're infrared photographs, um, gelatin silver prints, printed downstairs in our beautiful dark room. And they're, it's called Seville, so it's the Doria Pamphili, the Villa Chara, and um, actually the Villa San Michele in Capri, and the Villa Volkonsky. So that is uh, representative of some work I've been doing over many years and now archiving those images. Then, <laughs> my other work, which is to me just as important, are uh, painting. And there's, this is a series of paintings that uh, mostly were done during the lockdown because I had quite a bit of time. And they are uh, oil paint on panel and quite colorful as you can see. And they are my terrace with the chairs. And then there's also some images from uh, Ischia, a favorite place when I can get there, and also Puglia. And there's one lone still life in there. But it's indicative of uh, the color paintings that I've been doing over the years. Hi, my name is Bill Pettit. Uh, I teach advanced painting and materials and techniques here at TUR. Um, I'm also a alumni, both undergraduate and graduate student. These are my paintings and a couple of other paintings, collaborative paintings, um, dealing with an idea of knots, um, both as a, a scientific construct and also as an emotional um, journey of togetherness and separation. Um, these other works are collaborative pieces with a colleague named Kenneth Smith Corby, also a Tyler um, alumni. And they, each one was worked, we worked on each one together taking turns kind of building a knot. So it was less predictable and a little more based on chance and um, um, coincidence. The green ones were found paintings, thrift store paintings on velvet that we um, went back and worked on. Hi, I'm Leanna Muccio and I teach uh, digital photography here at Temple and I am a lens-based artist, so a photographer and, and videographer. and. Uh, for this exhibition, I decided to show uh, a little bit go back to, going back to my roots, the first love that I had of photography, which was the black and white uh, dark room. So this is an image that I uh, took um, back in New York, a black and white negative that then uh, I decided to print because I feel like in this moment, it's a real time of reflection and thinking back to your roots in a sense. And uh, so I thought this was a time to, to kind of be grounded in where I started. And then I also put a piece that is more maybe reflective of what I'm doing today, which is uh, videography and cinematography. So that's the video over here that um, I took uh, both uh, during lockdown and, and after. And for me, it was important kind of to document this time and to think about a little bit of what was the positive part of this moment. And I think for me, it's about the idea of community and getting together to uh, help each other. And you know, if anything good can come out of this, that's what I hope. And I feel like also by creating art and communicating through art, um, this is also a way to, to unite us. So I appreciate Temple University giving us this opportunity to show in a moment you know, where it's difficult to show and also to be able to uh, show it on, online uh, with our fabulous videographer, John Nee. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Marina Brüning, and I teach here digital photography. But here I show prints because I'm also a very dedicated printmaker. And actually, uh, these pieces I did during the um, lockdown, and they are monotype. Uh, so that means there's only one piece available. So normally in the print you have a series of, but this is only one. And yeah, it's very much inspired by the nature because I'm uh, living outside from Rome. And so my artistic um, inspiration and motivation is really the nature. And so you find, if you look, you find also some animals and 
and different things. And the nice thing is that there are sort of overlays. This is the type how I did it and a little bit color. And so it's for me, it's the title is who's in, who's out because it's very much in going into something and then coming out of something else perhaps <laughs> of something unknown and this was also a little bit the feeling i had during this lockdown hello um my name is anita guerra and i teach painting on paper and rome sketchbook and um, i'm here tonight because um, i'm showing you i'm part of this rome art week faculty exhibit and um, i've prepared five monotypes um, and they are previews of, of the work that I will be showing in a solo exhibit on November 10th here, uh, always at the Temple Gallery. The show is entitled Tres Patrias, which in Spanish means three homelands or three countries, referring to the three different places that I've lived and feel uh, a part of, that is Cuba, my homeland, my place of birth, and then Philadelphia, where I grew up, and then Rome, where I've been living all of my adult life. And so this show is um, part of a doc documentation and a sharing of all the work and research, drawings, paintings, watercolors, photographs that I have taken in preparation for a book I'm writing, a memoir, on my family's exodus from Cuba. And basically, it's, it's um, an autobiography. And it's an illustrated memoir. So these five uh, monotypes will, um, will be included in the book um, with um, designating every chapter. There will be about 15 chapters. I haven't finished yet, but um, I'm very excited um, I've been working on it for about 10 years, and I received uh, the Presidential um, Award uh, huma for Humanities and Research from Temple University and several other awards, so uh, I feel very grateful also that um, people believe in me and believe in my story. Um, I really hope you come to Rome uh, in better times, and uh, we are very um, happy to have you here. Thank you. Hi, my name is Catherine Krizek. I teach Introduction to Visual Language and also Eating Cultures. This is my, this is my work, this is my project. It is a, a, an experiment between analog drawing and digital media. I do actual drawings in different, in ink, in pencil, in pen, and everything. I photograph them and then I put them into computer and produce work. Um, the advantage to this is that it can be shown at different scales and done in different installations. The idea of the project is to highlight a lot of amazing women um, from, from all, all walks of life and all different periods of history who have, for one reason or another, gotten perhaps a little less attention than, than they should have. I'm um, trying to give a little inspiration for, uh, for these dark days. Uh, it's a project for which I got a PHA grant, and there's also intended to be a website, which will be a source of information and kind of a general collection catalog of these, of these women, these figures, um, who have maybe been sidelined for due to gender or race. A lot of the first group have to do with the environment uh, and the arts as well, um, and there's also one Italian who's Franca Viola, who was... Um, social figure in terms of, um, you know, an important figure in, in Italian contemporary history. My name is Devin Kovac, and I teach printmaking and book structures here at Temple Rome. And these are a few of my works from a recent series on uh, photographs that are then re-elaborated and reworked with etching and relief printmaking and in this case, uh, a light box, or a projected image, a UV light print that is retro-illuminated. Um, all of these come from a series of works about landscape and about memory and about how places kind of imprint themselves on our minds and in our minds. 
So this is a brief selection of my recent work, and I'm really pleased to have the opportunity to share it as part of this faculty exhibition. Hi, I'm Andrew Cranus. Uh, I'm an architect, and I'm originally from New York City. I've been teaching in the architecture faculty of Temple Rome since 2012. And I've chosen for this exhibition a piece that I included in a competition for the kind of uh, requalification of an area where I live in Rome called Testaccio, and this would include a large circus-like uh, sporting complex. Hi, my name is Roberto Manino. I'm uh, teaching figure modeling and uh, contemporary paper making. Uh, here at the faculty show, I'm uh, showing, exhibiting uh, two different works of mine. Uh, this is uh, a pole painting, uh, uh, which is part of a series called Carta in Cheese, which literally means uh, engraved papers. Uh, it's, um, it's just a free gesture, sort of a splatting uh, on a wet base sheet. Everything is done over uh, in the wet floor where the paper is very receptive of this kind of uh, uh, wet gestures. So wet paper over wet paper. Uh, this other work instead is a bit more uh, self-referential. Uh, I did use uh, these wooden frames which are uh, uh, quoting uh, 17th century uh, Venetian mirrors uh, in order to somehow depict uh, my moods. So I use it as a, as a template, as a, as a palimpsest onto which I freely evolve uh, form and color using handmade paper. Uh, so here there is a cavity, uh, there is something like very, um, sort of embedding uh, uh, a face level. I feel like uh, I want to be uh, involved in the work. Uh, the one up there instead is very reflective, defensive in a way, and it's hard to perceive, but it's, uh, graphite on paper and then has been varnished with the Agatha stone. And they all reflect uh, moods, approach, uh, without any second meaning. I'm Roberto Caracciolo, I'm a painter, and here at Temple University I teach a Rome sketchbook, which is a course, a drawing course, where we go out in the city of Rome. And uh, for this exhibition, this time, I'm presenting new work that I had never expected to do. And uh, this is the result of the lockdown and of being uh, stuck at home for two months. And I started drawing on my, on my cell phone. Uh, these are digital drawings and um, they were done on a small phone with a, just simply with my finger. And uh, I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the process of learning. And, uh, and I think of digital drawing as just one more option or possibility, a technical possibility for me to use. So I'm glad I learned. And then um, these were printed on Hannemühle paper, and, uh, which is a special paper, and printed almost like a photographic image, but it's not photography.